Alright guys, let's help Pietro. Uh, false sink here is do not swim. Now you guys might be like, what the hell? But, trust me. Yay! Now, the doctor's right there, but do not get caught by any of these guards. You're screwed. Who are you? You will kill them all. Your savior. I can also. There we go. Uh, he's been poisoned. The power. Cantarella. Drink this. Hurry! Give him a moment. I feel slightly better. Leeches will lead to a full recovery. I cannot thank you enough. I... The key to the Castel Sant'Angelo. Now. What are you talking about? I'm simply a poor actor. Cesare knows about you and Lucrezia. Uh, where'd that key come from? Wait for us! Whoa, whoa. You've got to have been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. Rapito, I must go help the troops. Momento. You are at the Villa Auditori during the attack. Oh, shit. I thought it... Oh, bloody hell. I thought it skipped... I thought it skipped the part of that scene. I'm very confused. Never mind. Get moving! Horse. Horse. Really? Really? I hate this, you guys. I hate this certain one. There's another one like it in the Da Vinci DLC. Oh my god. Where everything is like a fucking jet rocket. Oh, fucking Christ. Like, eventually you catch up to him, but dear lord. Come on. They have to improve the loading times. Like, the loading times were in AC2, they have to improve them because dear Christ. Oh, oh. I'm not dealing with this again. I don't want to see long loading times in the next one. 10,000 fucking guards! 10,000 fucking guards, you guys. You guys. Let me tackle you fucking... Really? They have to fix the tackling controls from the horse, because it doesn't work. I think you I... You are the traitor, not Machiavelli. Long live the Borgia! Merda. I was right. I have to stop La Borbe before he gets to Machiavelli. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit. Yes, epic music forever. Forever, you guys. Actually, I'm not even going to use the horse. Fuck you, horse. You're not useful, you're not worthy. Move, fuckers. Remember, you guys, do not swim.
up is the boat. I thought a boat always spawns like over there more, but no, it's not spun at all. Thank you. I discovered the traitor. What? One of our men. It was at the villa attack. Here, he carried this letter. My God, this is good news. More than you know. I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? Yeah. Yes. Thank you for relaying the message in time. Sure. Come, Nicolò. It has been far too long since we've talked. I heard the Colosseum Passion Play took an unexpected turn this evening. Really? It seems Jesu Cristo was resurrected three days earlier. Goodbye, epic music. You will be missed. Give me that horse. Okay. Oh, it unlocked the uh, Templar layers. Got a Christina mission, da 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 da. I think this is the end of it, I think. I hope. Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Got the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. Oh, I remember now. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. I think this is the end of the sequence, too, after this cutscene. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, a brother once stood around this fire, fighting out the darkness. Now, I offer the choice to you. Join us. Ouchie.
a sudden change of heart. I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the Castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli, Cesare has returned to Roma alone. He runs for the Castel Sant'Angelo. Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, mentor. Finish what you start. Good advice. Hmm. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. Sequence seven done. Now we're gonna do the Da Vinci disappearance. Now things get awesome. Well, I hope they do. I wasn't in my like I liked the intro outro for the after game version, but yeah, you guys will see when I post that. When this LP is done, I will post that, and then I will post, like, my thoughts and whatever after the game. Like, after all that. Word. Sequence 8, the Borgia. Well, not yet. Not yet. Excited. I hope this is good. Whoa, hold on. Just a minute. What was that? <gasps> okay, I have I need to see if Lucy's back or not. Good thing I paused the game. This should have the, um, drinking emails. <gasps> Lucy's back. What up? What up, everybody? Welcome back, Destin. Is, ever, is everyone going to talk to me? That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm going to be a more balanced person by the end of this? I have no clue, but the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on the tree duty. Deal. Oh, of course, yeah, you signed with her. Communists. <laughs> Poor Sean. Poor Sean needs a hug. Focusing on this. Oh, that's mean. I glow blue too. Huh. Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this. In 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinigalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains killed a few weeks later. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, he never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the master deceiver.
So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do. No.